frustrated. <laughs> is that right? Yes, it is. Okay. What's up? <laughs> Not much, but uh, the very second he admitted to being Darth Dawkins, I would have definitely just hung up on him. Oh. Well, mm. uh, I want to give people the chance that they deserve, and I think I gave him a chance. Yeah, you did, I and I got to say, I, I commend you for that because I would have not have been as patient. The very second he started doing that, I've been like, wait, are you Darth Dawkins? And he said, yes, yes, I am. Click. And yeah, yeah he, uh, he definitely has been in my chat numerous times, constantly trying to get into chats, and it's just, that's the exact argument that he gives every single time. Yeah. Yes, I know this island. Well, so what did you want but, to talk about today? Well, uh, I was really kind of pressured in here by um, the <clears throat> always lovely Mrs. Snarky, who uh, told me that I should definitely call, and I had no idea what to call about. So I, so I, when I called, I guess I told, uh, I don't know exactly what he put down, because I said either one of the two responses that he gave me was fine. Okay. So what did he put down? Uh, it says how you came to no longer believe. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I um, I am a frustrated atheist on YouTube. I am an, indeed an atheist and I became... Uh, so, due to a long period of time, it took I, from about, I'd say, somewhere around 10, 11, all the way up until... I was about 25 to finally come to grips that I'm an atheist. Okay. And it it was a very, very long and stubborn journey on my behalf. But it had lots and lots of little cracks. And I've said it before, and it, it's a very long story. So I'm, I'm going to try to give the condensed version here. Um I was raised a Southern Baptist uh, here, of course, in the state of Texas. Um, and we were, uh, I was brought up believing that God, you know, exists and that Jesus was a real person and that um, that you had to go to church, you had to believe. There, there was no other option. Um, and... I um I had a, I started having doubt mm -hmm. at a young age, but kept because of like it's been mentioned uh before, kept having uh kept being afraid of these doubts because it wasn't something that was really okay in growing up. You had to believe, and you could have doubts, but you had to just turn to the Word of God or listen to, you know, whoever's telling you about the Word of God or telling you about God. Just listen to them and have faith, and you'll be okay. And so every time I had the serious doubt, I got really terrified, mm -hmm. and I, I would just go back to, uh, oh, no, nope, no, nope, I just have to have faith. I'm good. And um, eventually, um, I was 11, and I started reading the Harry Potter books, and my aunt, who was homeschooling us at the time, was the reason why we were going to church. And um, she actually, we actually learned, learned, like, what we're supposed to, because every year we'd go to uh, Austin and take a test to make sure that we were learning what we should be learning. And, but of course she, since she was home school, she had a Bible study type of thing. And one day I had the Harry Potter book on my desk that I was reading at the time. And she just so happens to talk about witches and witchcraft that day. Don't know where that at all came from. Not <laughs> sure. But we, uh, but she was saying how everything that's, re that is related to witchcraft is bad and horrible and that anybody who who uh, was associated with it um, is pretty much um, 
going against God and and whatnot. And I was like, well, what about, because she even brought up the Harry Potter books. And uh, I was like, well, what about if you're just reading them? And she was like, Unfor- yes, even if you're just reading them, you're still uh, condoning it type of thing. And I was like, I, I really had a problem with that because at the time I had no imagination. I might have read a few books, but just because I had to. And then it opened my imagination and I couldn't see something that did such wonder, such a wonderful thing to a child as broadening their imagination, uh, how that could at all be associated with evil. But I rationalized it away and said, well, I, I can still read these and God would be okay with that. And then there was um, my uncle who brought up all the different versions of the Bible and how many times it's been translated mm-hmm. and where it started to where, you know, we have it today and all this stuff. And I, I said, I was like, no, that, you know, that still is okay, but it edged at the back of my mind thinking, why are there so many different ones, you know, different, why has it changed so much? And there's, you know, so many different things and the origins of Christianity itself coming from, you know, Judaism, coming from, you know, Judaism and everything like that. It was like, why, you know, I'll just, I'll just, push that aside that doesn't mm-hmm. so so doesn't, sorry so I, you've been talking for a little while now uh, and i just yeah, want to kind of kind of summarize your experiences here so uh we can kind of talk about it a little bit so you were a believing christian now you kind of not through like a variety of different ex- personal experiences and the examinations and observations that came out of those experiences that kind of made you question a lot of things um and now here you are frustrated Right? Is that is that a good summary? That that is a good summary. Okay, cool. Let me ask you, why are you frustrated? Why am I frustrated? Yeah. Because <laughs> I know now that it's because of all the falsehoods that I once believed. I was really whenever I've come to find out that they were false, regardless if they were known lies or not. Mm-hmm. It, they were false and I just got frustrated with myself really. Mm. And it really was, it really aggravated me. And I, um, and it was just, that's, that's about it is because I was so frustrated at myself for believing such falsehoods. And then even whenever I left the faith, I got swept up with the zeitgeist movement. And well, it, let me ask you this, frustrated. Do you think it's your fault that you believe the things that you did? Um, almost to an extent, because whenever I got older and there was such, and of course, you know, all growing up, there's such thing as the internet that has the information out there. I refused to even look into it and so, to an extent, as far as getting into the belief, I wouldn't say that I was at fault. Uh, it was just what I grew up in. Um, and that's something that really couldn't be helped at the time. But as, as I got older, it really did start falling upon me because of the fact that I, uh, I didn't care to do the research. I didn't want to do it because... God did it. Hmm. Well, if that was your sincere belief that you didn't have to do the research, that God had things taken care of, I would almost make the case that, hey, maybe you should go a little easier on yourself, right? Yeah. Because if those are your sincerely held beliefs and you're acting on those beliefs, I'm not sure why you should expect that you would do any different. Mm. Mainly because I know that I was that um, it's funny because I was raised I was raised in this belief, but at the same time I was also 
raised to use my brain. Mm -hmm. Sure, but yeah. I didn't use my brain whatsoever. You've also mentioned the specific knowledge claims, though, that um, you couldn't have possibly known um, unless that information was given to you. I mean, for example, I don't blame people who lived in the 18th century for not knowing about nuclear fusion <laughs> and that the sun happened and that they maybe some people thought that the sun is a giant ball of fire, you know, um, because they're working with what they know at the time. And, I mean, if you're just working with what you know, then you're just working with what you know. I don't know if there's any blame to be placed there. Yeah, to, to, to go with this frustrated, um, and it's it's nice talking to you here, uh, frustrated is actually a friend of mine um, that's calling in. Um, but with the regret things, I mean, I was a minister for 10 years. I preached uh, the gospel, and I told people that this stuff was true. Um but I found myself out of the faith. Now, I could live a life filled with regrets and just be upset about that for the rest of my life, or I can realize that the same brain, because you know, the same brain I have now is the brain I had then, um, but I had knowledge withheld from me for years um, where I was told, you know, like you had, don't read the Harry Potter books because it's going to be uh, send you down the path to witchcraft and you're going to be hellbound for it. Um, if you're told these things, then there's going to be fear. And so I don't think you have to regret something that, that you were, were afraid of finding out um, once you actually did find it out for yourself and you've moved on from, from that. I, I think you're a great person. Well, thanks, Alan. You, you're actually a really, you're a really good person as well. I uh, always enjoy hanging out with you on channel or yeah. wherever we may be at mm. well <laughs> that was nice um, I'm glad <laughs> you got to share your experiences here and I hope that maybe you can walk away feeling a little bit better about yeah. yourself and your self esteem in that sense you know that y you can't just blame yourself for these things <laughs> you know I mean I, I'm sure God the Sion can tell you you know I mean he was a I mean he preached to people yeah. you know um but I don't think he has any regrets about that. No. Uh, the only thing that I have uh, had any regrets over was the fact that I was a youth minister as well. Um, but I was obviously a bad youth minister because all of the people that were in my youth group are now atheists. Uh, so <laughs> they've left oh, the man. church and they're done. Yeah. So... <laughs> But anyway, we have one more caller that we want to get to. But thanks again for calling Frustrated. Oh, yeah, not a problem. I love, love talking to y'all guys. Cool. Well, yeah. we'll hopefully catch you some other time. Awesome. Well, that was really nice. And I hope those of you who are watching from the live stream as well also realize that if you come from a former believing background like the three of us do, that it's okay. Um, yeah. I certainly thought I had some regrets too from the youth that I used to talk to, you know, um, but I also kind of believe that it was true in some capacity, you know. Um, so I'm just, you, you know, people are going to act on what they believe is true, and that's that's just how the world works, you know. Well, so it, it's hard to place that kind of blame on yourself. And, and you know, uh, like with what Alexandria uh, was saying earlier, she's very angry it's okay if you're angry or if you're upset about the things that's happened because you've gone through a life of indoctrination. Um, sometimes it can take a while to get through those things um, to where you are at the point where I am, where I don't regret that anymore. Um, it can take you some time. 